We are surrounded, but we don't surrender. And we will always say that we love a sound like this. I'm talking about both you and me, because we are petrol heads. And in a world of turbocharged engines, a naturally aspirated V12 is something that has to be celebrated and to be fixed in our memories to keep those very special emotions that only a supercar can provide. But a Ferrari is not only, of course, about its engine, because its magic is also in the chassis, in the way it makes you feel when you're driving. Even when it has four seats and a boot, it is good even if you decide to come on a holiday in these wonderful, wonderful mountains. Yeah, in this GTC4 Lusso you can really drive to a ski resort in wintertime here in Italy, in the Dolomites, because it's practical and surprisingly capable for something that still remains a supercar. We are talking about 690 brake horsepower from a 6.3 litre engine that revs up to 8250 rpm with a top speed of 335 kph and 3.4 seconds from 0 to 100. And the reason why this is the everyday Ferrari, the Ferrari you can use in bad weather conditions or when the road is not perfect, is not only that is four-wheel drive. What the GTC4 does is to replace the Ferrari FF, adding something new to its original layout with a power transfer unit at the front providing torque on demand to the tires that now works together with the rear wheel steering system that we have first seen in the Ferrari F12 TDF and then we have a dual clutch transmission and an electronically controlled limited slip differential at the back a new generation of electronic dampers and a better control logic of all the vehicle dynamic systems a sort of new brain of the car and the result is that you can enjoy this let me say majestic engine without worrying on the way it pulls, which is something you never get used to. And when you throw the car into a corner, it's amazing how you don't feel its weight and its dimensions. I'm not saying that you can ignore them. On the contrary, this is the only thing to be said about this car. You don't have to think how to drive it, because it's damn good. But you must not forget the speed you're driving in the meantime, because otherwise you'll have to deal with a weight which is not far from two tons in real driving conditions. The 80% of the 697 Nm of the torque is available at only 1750 rpm, and this surely helps, like the weight distribution of 47% at the front and 53% at the rear, thanks mainly to the engine, which has been mounted behind the front suspensions. And yet, the cabin is still very spacious for four adults. The new dashboard in particular has been designed as a dual cockpit for the driver and the front passenger, that has a dedicated touchscreen from which you can access to most of the infotainment system functions, and the new 10.2 inches center display is new too. So yes, with this new car, Ferrari has used technology to create a GT which is another step closer to the driving experience of a sports car. And they've also called it Lusso, because here the real luxury is the time you can spend having fun, no matter if you're driving alone or not, no matter the weather or the road. 